Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're back with another one. This is Jenico's Journey, and we're back with another beer review. Here we are. Check Here it we in. are. So last time, we were still in New England. We were in Vermont. So where are we going this time? Are we leaving New England? Are we staying in New England? We're staying in New England. Not only that, but we're staying in Vermont. There it is. So we got the Otter Creek IPA Power Pack. Otter Creek's based out of Middlebury, Vermont. Um, they're an up-and-coming brewery. Um, they're actually pretty huge in Vermont, actually. And uh, random fact, Vermont is the biggest um, brewery per capita in the United States. So they got more breweries per humans in the United States. So you can find breweries all over Vermont. So that's pretty dope. I like the, the way this box looked. Um, this look box this drew cool to us. Art. So. Yeah, look at this cool art on here. It's like old school um, Nintendo. Yeah, or like right in the 90s. Yeah. Probably like Atari. That's older than nintendo i think right it's definitely older than nintendo atari yeah. but yes so this is the ipa power pack so they got three beers in this this pack so this is gonna be a little bit of a shorter video normally our videos have four beers but we're doing three this time but we're still gonna kick it with um our reviews um these are all ipas um so we're gonna start it off with the daily dose ipa daily dose ipa and outside it's supposed to be spring but it's not a spring day outside it's been crazy weather right now here we go. This is the can. Super cute. I don't know what that's supposed to be. A speaker or a fingerprint on there? What do you think? A speaker? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, probably a speaker. And as I say in all my videos, I'm not going to be one of those beer reviewers that are going to swirl the beer around, smack my lips, sniff the beers. Just one sip. Let you know what I think. And then we'll take it from there, just like a random person going to a bar. And also check out the Jenico's Journey swag. I got the Cheers or Gia shirt. Jenico's Journey hot, swag. Hot off the market. Hot, hot off, off the, the market. market. And um, later on, I'll show you the back of it. The back of it says Jenico's Journey. So this is Jenico's Journey swag. So for those of you who come to the wedding, maybe we'll have a swag tent at the wedding. <laughs> Merch tent. Merch tent at the wedding. All proceeds that are profit go towards the Jimmy Fund. <laughs> Cheers. That's a great Cheers. idea. I like this it. is really good, yeah. Yummy, easy. Says your daily hop allotment. Super cute can. Look at. Um, an all day, everyday IPA dripping with all the citrus and tropical fruit hop flavors you've come to expect from OCB Crew. So cute. It's actually very good. As you can see, I already crushed the can, and also. I forgot to say, as always, if the beer's not good, I got the handy, dandy, Bud Light for your enjoyment. <laughs> Cheers, guys. What do we know about, what do we know about this brewery? What can we say? Um, there's something on the box where I can read. Go for it. It says, crafting, hopping, and dosing brews since 1991. So 1991. Well, music was good. CDs were still around. <laughs> Rock and roll was still around. Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Metallica all released huge albums that year. 1991 was an excellent year for music. Excellent year for living. Yeah. Uh, MTV was still MTV back for then. Living. So <laughs> I like it so far. Keep going. <laughs> Our ales and lagers are brewed with all natural ingredients contain no preservatives, and are not pasteurized. As with any perishable food, the flavor profile will change over time. To ensure you enjoy the freshest beer possible, we date each can. Let's check it Let's out. What's our date? Born on date. Well, I don't know where the hell would they born on date be. Let's take a look. We date each can. Let me see. Well, Bud Light's put them in the bottom. It's right there. Where do you see it? Well, there's a number. I don't know what that is. Well, well you guys date each can, but I wish you told us where <laughs> the freak you put the date because I can't find it. I'm used I to. I don't know. That might be a date. I see don't know. See this handy dandy is. Bud Light? There's a date right in the bottom there. No, no, Michael. This is it. It's 03012. Oh three oh one two one. No, that's an area <laughs> code or something. That's not the date. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Where's this born on date? I think these hippies got a little too high and they forgot to put the born on date on their own can. But this Possible. is a five point five alcohol content, Possible. so so it's um it's a decent beer. Smacks you in the face a little bit. 
Um, and as always, we always start with the lowest alcohol content and work our way up. So if the first beer is a 5.5, you know this is a smack you in the face episode of Jenical's Journey Beer Reviews, which I like. I'm going to pour a little bit more of this can. This is very good. Since Michael explained his outfit, I guess I should explain mine. I am wearing my Boston Marathon zip up. It is normally Boston Marathon Patriots Day here in Boston, which well, we on Monday will be Monday, yes, which we are so normally it's Patriots big fans weekend. It's, it's a huge weekend in Massachusetts, um, and we both love it. Both of us working in the hospitality industry. Normally, the hotels used to get crazy during this time of the year. Last year was the first time in I don't know how many years. Near and dear to our hearts. Canceled. So yeah rescheduled this year actually until um the week the monday before our wedding before our wedding so october 12th or yeah, 10th or something like that which is cool D just don't delay it to the monday of our wedding and we'll be happy our, our wedding's not on a monday our wedding's, our wedding's on the friday but i don't want the race to go for the guests who haven't booked the room yet yes if you are coming to our wedding and you haven't booked your hotel room yet do that and for all you who don't even know us but are watching our channel, this beer is a cheers, not a cheers. This is a cheers. One thumb up so far. Yeah, it's good. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to give this beer a solid 8.75. This is actually a very good IPA. This might be one of the higher ranking IPAs of the beers we tried. So, Vermont, you're killing it so far. Long sure you kind of were iffy, but so far, out of creek, I like it. And uh, I did a little research in the last episode. We were talking about magic cat and whether they're still in burlington i'm sorry to say that they closed their factory in burlington another brewery from vermont took that that brewery uh well wherever they were making the beer over but now magic has i think is getting made in rochester unfortunately now so sad news on that front but like i said vermont has the most craft breweries per capita so i don't think vermont's that much sad about it so we're keeping it moving is this number two? This is number two. All right, we're going with number two. Free Flow. Free Flow IPA. So crank on some Pearl Jam, put on Even Flow, and drink some Free Flow. Or if you want to take it back even more, crank on some Linda Skinner and put some Free Bird and drink some Free Flow. How about that? So here's the color of this beer. <sighs> This one's good, too. Happy Friday. Love and miss you all. Hope everyone's enjoying their day. Two for two. Yes. I like it. I would say the first one I, th I thought it's like was... a little a, smoother. I thought the first one was smoother, for my opinion. No, I like this one. I like this one. So, uh, the first one I gave an 8.75. This one I gave an 8.3. It Both says, very good. Both very good. It says our hazy IPA is smooth by nature and free flowing by choice. Ooh, that sounds so nice. <laughs> With a heavy hint of foul corn, light citra, and galaxy hop flavors in every can. Cute can again. Still not seeing any dates on here though, as we go through them. I almost picked up the last can, but I don't want to reveal the last can. Yeah. And as I say in every episode, Chris, we still haven't found that freaking Langanitis. We don't even remember which Langanitis you recommended, so just let Jen know which one you recommend so we can... But um, there's no mixed pack in, in the beer emporium that we go to. And as you can see by the variety of different options we brought in the multiple episodes so far, this place has a lot of different beer uh, mixed packs, just not Langanitis for some reason. Yeah. Those of our new followers, welcome. We got a few new followers from our last chicken parm video. Uh, oh. If you haven't seen it yet, go back and check it out. We went to Providence and did a chicken parm throwdown with. Yeah. Uh, with Special with shout out to Anthony's Authentic Italian Restaurant. They shared our review on Facebook, which is huge. So we thank you very much for that. And if you haven't watched it, the, the meal was phenomenal. It was the best chicken parm throwdown we had so chicken far. Chicken parm, episode um, four, best in show so far, is going to Rhode Island, of course. Rhode Island overall, until proven otherwise. Well, she still loves Tony Dinopoli from my city, New York, number one. But out of the ones we tried so far, Rhode Island gets the best in show. That, that we reviewed, officially. Yeah. We, we've been reviewing them forever in our heads and bellies, but... 
now it's on film. Yeah, we kind of are been, have been smacking ourselves well. in the face a little bit because um, this is something that we've been talking about doing for many years now, um, whether it had been like an actual physical blog or a vlog, and we just never got around to doing it, you know, um, even from traveling to Spain. We, we did a trip to Spain, and we hit up three different cities and hit up so many different bars and restaurants, which would have made an amazing vlog or blog, and we just never got around to it. We just had such a you know, good time that we didn't get to, to do it, so... Now you guys are t re reaping the benefits because we started it, we're doing it, and we're going to be hitting up so many places, and I hope you enjoy it. Can you guys believe Michael designed this chart by himself? I'm so proud. Look how good he chose. He chose, he did have one one prior to this one, which I had to, I jeered <laughs> his first shirt because it had like beer pong cups on it, and I think it, they were like yellow, so that it looked like they had beer It was in actually them. red. It was a homage to my, um, homage to my... It wasn't good. Beer wasn't pong good. days. I was like, we don't need that shirt. And then this was version two that I saw, and I love it. I can't believe. Wait till you see the back. You guys are gonna love it. I can't wait. You can't wait. We'll have to wait for the end for the big we'll, reveal. We'll, we'll 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 put another video on the end, and um, we'll shade it back with the shirt. If you like the shirt, thumbs up. <laughs> and if you like the idea, if you come to the wedding of a merch chin, let us know too, because we'll make it happen. And Michael, like that's I said, crazy. all I profits will go that. towards the Jimmy Fund. I don't think you can like bring merchandise to sell. <laughs> if you didn't know, our wedding is music themed. So what better way to do a music themed wedding that's supposed to than be a to secret. do a that's merch chat? That's supposed tent. to be a secret. No, now is not a secret. We've gone through so many concerts. The wedding is music themed. <laughs> And we're having a freaking merch tent. How about that? That is actually so good. <laughs> also, yeah. if anyone knows what my hat means, comment below or text me if you if we know each other in real life. I don't know. Don't say anything, Michael. If you can read it, but it says. What does it say? It says, "Is that in the valley?" And that's it. If you know what that's from, message me, text me. The first person who messages or texts me, we will share. We'll give you a shout out. And we'll, give you, we'll share We'll share our favorite pics from your Insta page if you're looking for some Insta love or we'll just. And you get to pick the next beer <laughs> in our beer review as long as it has a mix pack. <laughs> or you can yeah. choose the next chicken pond spot. As we long as not hundreds of miles away. We How can't offer too much at this time. We're still looking for sponsorships. <laughs> so, yeah. so if we you can like give it, our love. <laughs> if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, but you watch all our videos, please subscribe because we're, we're you know, help us out a little bit. Yeah. But cheers to y'all. Here we go. Look, uh oh, this is empty. Anything on this box that we should know? Cheers to y'all. Else. Oh, think green, of course. Think green, of course. Please reuse or recycle this packaging. Gotta always put that on there. So this up here says 12 up, 12 fluid ounce cans, four of each style, but they have it in like Nintendo lettering, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. They had a weird um, advertising campaign. Like, so when we picked up the beer pack, they had like a weird, like, um, it had like a Sega Genesis kind of thing, like a win now kind of subscribe thing. So look it up if you're a retro gamer. Maybe they're giving away like a Sega Genesis of a bunch of old school games, which yeah. would be pretty cool. Yeah. Probably a collectible, collector's item or like you could pass it on to your kids. And it's coming back, you know, it's all coming back. I mean, pre COVID, I, I, my Facebook memories from like six years ago, we were in, actually in Jacksonville this week and um for a pro gen concert and it was a cool oh, bar we went to that had like that was such a, a bunch of old tvs and then like a bunch of nintendo games and it's a picture of me playing That's duck hunt fun. randomly so yeah, um so brought up some cool memories um, was that your birthday weekend no it was a this year like six years ago i mean oh, this right day now? or two days ago six years ago okay. we're in florida and if you haven't noticed i'm a big pro gen fan that's my that's my band Are we ready for the third one? Uh, yeah, let's show it. I think this is the best. So this can. is like straight up. This is the best can. King of the Koopa pack. Mario Brothers or something. I don't know. Well, no, actually, Atari. There's a little. There's a little yeah. ship there. It says bonus stage IPA. Bonus stage. 
I don't know, Star, Star Fox is like Nintendo 64, so I don't know, or, or Super Nintendo, I don't know what kind of, whatever Atari game had a little spaceship, that's what I think what they're going with, but um, if you know, let us know. It's not Afterburner, Afterburner was like a Sega game. I don't know. I think it's just Atari, isn't it? Isn't it just Atari? Who they're going with? I don't I have no clue. I think it's a cool concept, like cool box. No, the spaceship. The, the game wouldn't be called Atari. I was trying to think what the video game would be. I don't know. But shout out to Ramon. So far, this brewery is kicking butt. Yeah, loving it. So good. And if it wasn't for Ramon, like I said last video, they wouldn't be a Genicles journey. Um, and then two of two of my groomsmen in the wedding are, from, you know, I met through Ramon. So, uh, so many people are Ramon, R Ramon influenced that were that were special so. to us. Beautiful, miss it. Can't wait to go back. So soon. So shout out to the Green State, the Mountain Green State. State. Cheers. Hope everyone's having a great Friday and the week wasn't too hard. And you didn't get too much snow if you're in New England. <laughs> Crazy weather. Hmm. I gotta take another sip to decide what I think of this one. So remember that itchy flavor that I was explaining? This gives me the itchy flavor. This will be my least favorite. This is the bronze medal of the three. But this is also the one that smacks you in the face the most. This has the highest alcohol content with 6.7. Yeah. This one definitely gives me like, it feels rough going down my throat, like sand feet bar a little. This, one's, like, this one's 7.75 for me. I wouldn't turn down if I was offered it at a, at a party. Yeah. However, I wouldn't order at a bar. Cute hops on the can. Little cute little hops there, look at. <laughs> However, I'm not going to give it a cheers. I gave it a 7.75. This is a cheers. But what I'm going to rank the three beers that we ranked today is whether I will order them at a bar. First two, absolutely. The first two were eights. I got an 8.3 and an 8.75, I believe. This one, last one's a 7.75. So, so far, three cheers. But as you'll see in the, at the end of the video, we already lined up with the gold, silver, and bronze medal. Are. So I kind of spoiled it right now, but we're still going to do that segment shortly. Hey, Murph, can you screenshot this for us? <laughs> he comes through, too. He did last time we asked. <laughs> That's a number one fan right there. We've got a few number one fans, but he's up there for sure. Yeah, we, we have a gold circle. Like, in Genicle's Journey fandom, there's the gold circle of people who, like, immediately, like, comment on, on like, text messages, like, cool video, or love it, or throw out suggestions we had we definitely have a gold circle and we love you for that we we love you for the support <laughs> you're all on our gold circle you're all on our gold circle and shout out to the new subscribers i love it keep subscribing yeah we're part of a few local pages um from where we live around massachusetts like different food groups and people have been giving us lots of feedback on there and we've been asking for suggestions and especially when it comes to the chicken farm videos, everyone's got their favorite. So we've got a long list of restaurants to try and we're meeting up with a collab this week sometime with one of our, one of our friends and we're gonna be doing one, maybe two. Maybe, who knows, we might do two bonus chicken farms together. We're definitely doing one chicken farm throwdown. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned for where we end up. But we hit up the collabs. Like if you if you suggested and you want to be involved, let us know. We've already had shout out to Jonathan Brown. <laughs> he he was in our uh, last video. Um, thank you for participating and you know collaborating with us. Um, and he's actually going to post his his version of the video as well. So we at that restaurant we actually did two videos. One was ours and one was his. He'll be throwing his video up shortly, so... Yeah, and um, like Michael said, they shared our video on Facebook, which is awesome, and gave us lots of lots of love, and uh, shout out to them. Great service, great food. Michael looked up, they had half-price wine coming up, I think, on weekends, and also and chicken And they also parm. have all-you-can-eat chicken parm day on Tuesdays. <laughs> He's what ready to freak? go back. He's Couldn't ready to go it. back. I'm like, Michael, we have 4,000 chicken parm places we need to try, and he wants to go back. He loved it. I'm going to be eating all you can eat chicken, you can eat chicken parm. parm in my head. I'm going to be singing a song. All you can eat. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know what all, that is. All you can eat. You can eat. That's the song by the Fat Boys from the 1980s. I'll have to look that up after. <laughs> from, a movie, from a movie from 1986 called Crush Groove. 
Never heard of it. Fat boy is all you can eat. Never heard. My brothers of will know about it. Cheers. I'm gonna have a little sip of this beer. He's going for it. Yeah, you can finish that one. Mm. We're gonna hit you up with the happy recap right now, guys. Gold, civil, silver, and bronze. I said civil. I've had a few beers already, obviously. This is all I've had tonight, so. Gold medal goes to Daily Dose IPA gold medal. Would you agree on that, Jen? Yes. Silver medal goes to Free Flow Silver Medal IPA. And the bronze medal goes to that bonus stage. And you were the bonus stage because you came in third place. And bonus stages yes. are usually like an add-on. So you were the yes. add-on, yes. but you weren't a bad beer. You got a 7.75 in my eyes. What did you rank that beer, Jen? I don't think I gave my ranking for any of that. So rank them. Let's go. <laughs> this is Jen Eccles' journey, not Eccles' journal. journey. So. Oh, you hear right. that's my line. Don't use my yeah, line. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's get your, your, your reviews. Let's go. First beer, what do you rank it? Uh, first beer I give a seven, second beer I give an eight, and third beer I give a four. So we have the dispute on the gold and the silver. So that means you got to try these two beers and you decide which one. Like I always say, crack the cans open with us and go for the ride. So is your favorite Daily Dose or the Free Flow IPA? So that's the review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We got a lot more cutting coming. We got the lobster roll showdown. We got another chicken prime throwdown. We got two hotel reviews coming up. And we got many more beer reviews coming up too. Stay tuned. And are we are we giving words of wisdom? Words of wisdom. Hmm. Let me see what I got. Life's a journey, not a destination. From the great Steven Tyler. That's today's words of wisdom. So live your life to the fullest. Love it. Don't be shady about it. And until next time, peace, love, and keep drinking. Peace, guys. Bye. All right, guys. Like promised, here is the back of the shirt. Again, Michael designed this. Janicle's Journey. Check out that font. He killed it, right? Wait, back up a little bit. Cute, right? Show him a friend again. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers or jeers, guys. That's it. Cheers or cheers. All right. Merch chant. October 15th, 2021. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs>